Yeti. It's me. Hey, today I have some really old dinosaur attack cards. They're 1988 from Tops. You can see that. Tops. This one has a Brachiosaurus on it. Petrodactyl. Uh, Petrodactyl. Oh, wait. Those are helicopters attacking a Brachiosaurus. They're called Dinosaur Attacks. They were 25 cents. I found these in my room. Uh, I guess I got them from the Comic Con and I just had a bag of some random stuff that I haven't, uh, that got mixed up with some other stuff. And this one has a T Rex eating this guy. Mmm. But the business guy tastes good. <laughs> Yum. Dinosaur Tex. Dinosaur attacks. See, they got the old school wax paper. Old school wax paper. And they got this. They got this this gum on here now uh there's this other channel who does he he opens up some old school um cards and trading cards and stuff uh, it's a roll for sanity and he is a coward because cowards choose not to chew the gum and he won't take a chance and chew the gum and he won't um i, I wrote something else but uh Oh yeah, he was doing a super guy, Superman unboxing or unpackaging review of of cards that had gum in it, and I wrote, "Be a super guy and chew the gum." Me, I'm not a coward. This gum, it might be almost as old as me. It's, a, it's like only two years younger than me, really, but it's made from stuff that can't expire. It's like never expires. It's. Look, but it, I wouldn't need it because it's hard. It's, it's called, rock. it's made from dextrose, corn syrup, base, and softeners. Natural artificial flavors. Uh, BHT. Um, preservatives. Preservatives. It, it never expires. It's hard as a rock. So it doesn't even chew anymore. But real men are not curly. I'm scared. Damn gum. As you can see, it damages the card because it's been in there so long. This is a sticker card. And this is a sticker source. You can take the sticker out or you can leave it. And then it has all these lies on the back here, like the lie of when it, what era it existed in, when. The Bible clearly says that all creatures were created at the same time as human beings. So, uh, they couldn't have lived millions of years ago. Because they lived at the same time as me. Humans. Us. And we didn't live millions of years ago. Now, honestly, I will tell you that gum tastes terrible. I know that. But we've got a stegosaurus. She's got a pizza order and she's going to eat the whole thing. She's going to eat the... Well, good for we her. we got card she number 20. She does not want any... Sorry for that. Like I said in a previous video, I hate her interruption, so I actually pressed pause this time because I had a chance to. <sighs> anyway, we have... Uh, Sauron Secrets. It's Prometheus Log. On the back, it has all this little, you know, information... So, I guess, I don't know if this was a TV show or a movie or something, but it's got all this information. Or maybe this was a based off a comic book. If y'all remember, it's called Dinosaurs Attack. If you know what it was based off of, comment down below. Um, you gotta be older than me, though. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this has got information about Dr. Elias Thorne. That's the, that's the alien, right? The alien's the doctor, right? No, the, the, I think he's the doctor. I have no work. There's some me. alien on here, too. Reptilian? Hmm? Maybe? Hmm? Hmm? Then, uh, 
This is the Tops Presents Dinosaurs Attack card. It tells you that the series has yeah, 50. I start raining hard. It says the series has 55 cards and 11 stickers. And on the back here is the forward, which is being read backwards, but I don't know when it gets filmed, it might reverse itself because uh, when it switches to YouTube. So you might see it. You might see it correctly when you watch it, but for me right now, I'm seeing it backwards. <laughs> so, uh, it's the forward card. So it's card number one. Then we have, uh, the perfect wave. We got a, like a plesiosaurus type dinosaur here, um, coming up from the water while humans are trying to, like, way uh trying to ride waves that's pretty cool um on the back here it has a like it looks like a little newspaper article sort of and it says the perfect wave on it and it's like a little newspaper article here and it, it it's up here it says this is the next card you can go to so that's pretty cool um uh See card number 22, London in Flames, to, you know, oh, 24, London in Flames. So it tells you the next thing. So that helps. Um, this one's called Tourist Trap. It's pretty cool. It's got Mount Rushmore here. And uh, these pectrodactyls are attacking Matt on Rushmore because I guess they think it's uh, real people or something and they're trying to eat it. Well, actually, there's people climbing Mount Rushmore and the pectrodactyls are attacking the people climbing Mount Rushmore. Oh, okay, so uh, that's pretty cool. Source trap. Mount Rush, Tourist trap, Mount Rushmore. It's next. Of Hora. So this is pretty cool because the dinosaurs are not in their time zone and they're in our time zone. From a time twister. That's how they got here. See, it says time twister. Uh, the, so, because they want to stick with the story that dinosaurs were millions of years ago. Instead of maybe thousands. Like, or instead of being around the same time as us humans. So now we have a blue deck. They only had five cards. That's kind of a shame that they only had five cards in them. Ooh. Now, I'm not going to eat this gum because I already proved that I don't have to. I mean, I've already proved, that, uh, proved it, so I really don't have to eat another piece. Plus, I, it, it tastes... It tastes... Terrible. It tastes stale. I mean, it is stale. It tastes stale. It's 30 years old. It's like 32 year old gum because I'm fixing to be 34 in like three or three days, I think. Three or four days now. Three days, I think. And there's the blue one. See, there's the blue one. Surprisingly, the, uh, the stuff is not too damaged. But you can see the gum. You can see the gum, it's all broken up, and it's all powdery, and it's it's no good anymore anyway. I just ate the gum because to prove to y'all that, that I'm cool. <laughs> I want to go throw this gum away real fast. I'll be right back. It's hard to scrape the gum off the back, so it's kind of just stuck there. Sometimes you find cards and the gum is not as bad as it is in this, because I've found them before where the gum was not as bad. So this is a Triceratops card. Again, it tries to enforce the lie about millions and millions or billions of years old and not living at the same time as humans. When realistically speaking, it's when historically and biblical and realistically speaking, it was around the same time as human beings, and the last the, the last dinosaurs, dragons, 
died out somewhere probably around the medieval times if there's not some still around because there is a lot of evidence proving that there are still some cryptoids that are of dinosaur-ish looking creatures still around today. Um, but if they died out, they would have died out during the time of the knights because the knights made a whole bunch of stories about killing dragons. So they're probably, a lot of them are dead from being slain by knights on quests and make themselves look super heroic. Which begs the question, if a knight could kill a dinosaur with a axe, sword, shield, and his bare wits, why the hell then in the movies do they make it where like our advanced technology guns, airplanes, missiles don't do a lick of damage to them? Look, prehistoric man was killing them with their bare hands. I think a gun would work. <laughs> Science fiction people, let's make it more realistic. Anyway, this one says the past comes alive. Past comes alive. I like these little newspaper articles. They're kind of cool. This looks like it's either in San Francisco or New York. Uh, because it's tearing up one of these giant bridges. It's not a golden bridge, so it can't be San Francisco, right? <laughs> Unless the artist just took a... Uh... This one says, trapped in the basement. Trapped in the basement. Ooh, raptors. Raptors, oh no. On the back it says, help us, we're trapped in the basement. Air running low, monsters burrow out of the ground. Every night to eat us. Ooh. Hmm. Only in like cards and movies and whatnot do people literally write with blood and um, they write as they're getting eaten because apparently they either A, ran out of blood or they um, got eaten while they were f trying to finish the last thing. But you only see that in like comic stuff like this movies maybe realistically who has time to write when you're getting eaten by something <sighs> but yeah it's pretty cool art on these cards though <sighs> ripped out of time well that one's called ripped out of time it looks like the skin is literally being torn from the bones of the dinosaurs on that one. That is some cool art, though, man. Look at that. That's some neat little art. It's 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 also kind of gruesome-ish art, but it's neat little art. <clears throat> and there's the writing and stuff on it. So that's pretty cool. And why I'm doing this slow this time is because someone didn't like... Somebody commented on one of my videos. Not to name names. But they were like, on that Star Wars video I did, We can't see the cards. You barely showed them for like two seconds. And you kept moving the camera. Blah. Hey, you watch this one, dude. And you'll... And you'll know which person I'm talking uh, know exactly who I'm talking to. This one says, The Ultimate Sacrifice. Time to die! Helen, I love you always! So, he sacrificed himself. <laughs> this one's Heartland Hora. So, uh... Looks like uh, these dinosaurs are eating cows. Now, this picture is wrong. On the ground, on um, this picture is wrong because, um, well, according to, well, it could be right. It could be right. This animal right here could have been a meat eater. But according to all the people, the scientists who study dinosaurs, the paleontologists and everything, 
this Ankylosaurus creature here is supposed to be a plant eater. So it would not be eating a horse or cow or whatever it's eaten in that particular scene. Now the petrodactyls or pterodactyls, pterosaurs over here, they would be eating the, uh, they would be eating cows. But I don't think it would take, I don't think they would swoop down and steal a whole entire cow. I think a cow would feed a pterosaur for a while. Because there is an image of uh, how big a pterosaur is, and it's about six people. It's, its wingspan is about six feet long. Uh, matter of fact, some, uh, uh, it was either Union soldiers or Confederate soldiers shot one during the Civil War, and there's a picture of... They, they may had themselves took... They had... It was like a, six guys of them... And they took a picture of it, and they had it spread the whole wingspan. And um, I think they had like three guys on both sides of the wings. They were like, so they weren't that big. They were about the same size as a cow. So uh, scientifically speaking, I'm not sure they could pick up a cow. Let alone would need to eat a whole entire cow for one of them. But pff, art is still amazing. It's inaccurate, but it's amazing art. Uh, this one's called Heartland Hora. It's on the back here. It's from the Melville Gazette. It's pretty cool. Y'all can pause that or whatever and read the stories and stuff. It's That's pretty cool stories. Um, so that's been the uh, dinosaurs attack. Um, dinosaurs attack. That's been the dinosaurs attack cards two packs of them anyway so it's not nearly the whole set not even close to the whole set uh remember god is good all the time all the time god is good god created the dinosaurs during the six day creation week same week he created human beings and all other animals and all plants and all other life forms on this planet and the whole matter of fact the whole entire universe Unless you want to just assume that he created, well, technically, he created most of the universe in the first like three or four days, and then the rest of it, it's like the first three days of things, the creation of the universe, and then the next, the next three days are just <clears throat> Earth. Or, so he liked Earth so much that he spent as much time on Earth as he did creating the whole entire universe. Think about that for a little bit. Anyway, um, Jesus loves you, Jesus is God, uh, dinosaurs are cool, um, hope you enjoyed this video, um, have a great day, like, comment, subscribe, share, and, uh, go get some dinosaurs. Become a cryptozoologist and find some real dinosaurs, because they're cryptozoids. Cryptoids are, um, Creatures that we have proof that they exist, but uh, the actual scientist people keep going, no, nah, they don't really exist. Some famous ones are Sasquatch, you know, Bigfoot, you know, <laughs> that guy. Bigfoot. So we got 12 cards here. The coolest, I like the, I like these two. I mean, these two are just standard. I think they did the scale pretty reasonable, but not really. They kind of, they kind of made the scale a little too, made the dinosaurs a little too big for humans, because uh, these two are supposed to be small, medium dinosaurs, and uh, a baby of these would have been about the size. Well, when they first came out, the eggs, the eggs are about the size of maybe this, or maybe an ostrich egg at most. You've seen an ostrich egg. Ostrich egg is a pretty big egg. Um, so if a dinosaur egg was about the size of maybe an ostrich egg, um, then when they first came out and were first born, uh, at most these dinosaurs probably grew to about, I'd say, at least these two anyway, I'd say they probably actually grew to about the size of maybe a horse. 
or a cow and then they got a little bit bigger so in this particular scene these dinosaurs are way too big compared to the humans maybe I don't know it might be size comparison what do you think I mean this one says 6.5 meters this one says 8 meters on the back well um, if we converted that to feet a meter is like 1.2 feet so an average person let's say average person is about 5 feet tall so uh, that that does look inaccurate here um, because that guy that guy shooting at the thing is should be about at least four and a half feet tall because he's bending over a little bit to shoot at him and it's showing that this thing is way bigger than that so uh even the the stats on the card are being lied about on the art <laughs> that's funny we'll look through the cards art again that's some cool art that one uh, it's, it's okay art i'm not too fond of it because it doesn't show much of the dinosaur it shows like the scientists getting <laughs> getting captured that's pretty cool art pretty cool gruesome art that's pretty cool and gruesome art those raptors are like eating people they now claim dinosaurs may have had feathers like birds so all these images might be wrong I, but then again they just keep changing what they want dinosaurs to look like anyway <laughs> yeah they keep up and here's um when none of them were there in the past to actually know what they look like because the only way for them to admit to have been in the past is if they admit that dinosaurs are around at the same time as humans and start admitting that they some of them still exist and that they weren't millions of years old which is more likely to be true i like this one i like the mount rushmore attacked being attacked by pterosaurs that's pretty cool art This is this is a kind of funny, silly art, but it's a it's it's nice. This dinosaur coming out the out the water and the guy somehow somehow, which would probably be actually impossible to do, but somehow the dinosaur comes out of the water and the guy is still literally on a surfboard. He didn't fall off nothing. This is like impossible it would have probably never happened if something sweeps under you and you're on a surfboard you are falling off the surfboard the surfboard is probably going to get broken especially if it's a big giant dinosaur but art come on it's great uh this is kind of interesting because it makes us wonder if uh this was a tv show or movie or what and if it had something to do with like reptilian type aliens you know like aliens did aliens help him bring the dinosaurs or what's going on um, and then this is kind of a neat piece of art this looks like you have a giant space godzilla creature trying to eat the literally the whole entire planet like if a dinosaur could live in outer space and eat the whole entire planet it's it can't but still it's, this is an awesome piece of art <laughs> it's even got awesome art of the various different dinosaurs and like a screaming woman you know ah it's a dinosaur ah you know on the back here and it's pretty cool so uh comment what you think down below and have a great day all of everybody and that was a long video but oh well i did my commentary on every card so that was cool and i got some more cards maybe i'll do some more yeah, unboxings don't know where they're when i find them i'll maybe i'll do them uh, when i find them i got more cards yeah I'll share, them. I'll share them when i find them i know i got some power i got a power ranger thing over there that i'm going to do a video on and that's probably going to be the next video so uh stay tuned do y'all like the do y'all like the watching me showing off the stuff videos better 
or do you like the the ones where I just hold the phone and try to show off the stuff? With board games, it works a whole lot better for me to just hold the phone and film the board game. But with like cards like this, it's this is kind of not that hard to do. Comment down below which one you like better. Anyway, uh, and have a great day. Later.